Hello, Ruth here, and welcome to the Anthotype and Chlorophyll Printing Workshop. I'm right in the heart of Bristol, so you can hear trains and traffic and people, and I'm on my allotment. Well, it's a community allotment, so there's a few of us who grow things here. I'm going to be using plants, flowers, leaves and vegetables from this allotment to experiment along with you to make images as we go through this workshop. So welcome and let me give you a quick guided tour. This is the way in to New Roots community allotment and there are bluebells, forget-me-not and borage in full flower here near the entrance. I'm hoping to make blue anthotypes using these petals. Then further on we have our rhubarb bed. Beautiful big leaves, perfect for making chlorophyll prints. And here's the greenhouse, stuffed full of winter salads. Rocket, mizuna, chicory, endive, mustard leaves. These are really tasty over the winter, but they're bolting now and flowering, so definitely pass their best for eating. I'll be using the flowers and leaves for anthotypes. There's some parsley here too, so that should make beautiful green anthotypes. And I'm going to use some other herbs too, mint, sage and lemon balm growing in the bed outside. At least these anthotypes will smell nice. Over here is the brassica bed also past its best and flowering, but the red kale leaves and purple sprouting broccoli should make good anthotype material. And finally, down to the orchard and the apple trees, where we have long grass, dandelions and nettles. I'm going to try these too to make anthotypes. So you see, you go to any outdoor space nearby and choose whatever plants, leaves or flowers growing there that you can find for your anthotype materials. Next week I'll be looking for bigger leaves to make chlorophyll prints. So good luck! <laughs> 